we sold 120 of just that one. I mean, it takes us like three days to stock this. It's $350. About $4,000 worth of fire. I'm uh, Steve and this is Kathy. We're uh, at Crazy Kathy's Fireworks. We started the business when uh, it became legal to shoot off the good stuff in Michigan, which has been about, I think, 14 years now. How did you get into it? We uh, knew some people that uh, were involved in the fireworks business a little bit. They uh, suggested that we take the opportunity, you know, with the developing a much bigger chance to shoot off a lot of different things that normally you just had sparklers and um, fountains and smoke bombs. So he works out of the house and I substitute teach and it's a great summer thing for us to be able to do. So the flexibility with it was really nice actually. So he said yes right away and I was like, I don't know if I want to give up my summer, but yeah, it has worked out really well. Can you talk about your stand and like how you got this location? So our first year um, we were across the street on a dirt lot and we had come and talked to Bill at the party store and asked him if we could put a swooper sign in his grass. And he's like, hey, I can do you better. How about next year you guys have your tent in my parking lot? So that was fantastic because I can use his bathroom and <laughs> there's a lot of perks. I can get ice and things like that. And when we were on the dirt lot, things got dirty and I had to like wipe everything off every day and things don't get dirty here. And just the location, the corner of Port Sheldon and Chicago Drive is fantastic. There's a lot of traffic that comes through here. So we're really visible, which is what we want. And when you first started, were you selling the same amount or? No, it's it's increased every year. A big thing for us is our customer service. So whether you have $50 or $500, we're gonna try to get you exactly what you're looking for and, and in the budget that you can work with. We have a lot of people come in year after year just asking for help. They don't know a whole lot of them. They shoot them off once a year. And we spend tons of hours researching, practice playing with them. And uh, so we can tell them exactly what's going to be good for their location, for their budget. And uh, so that help has really helped with the customer service and keeps bringing people back. When we first started, we had white tables like these and we would just stack fireworks on these white tables. And then he started like building up a little um, wood thing in the back so we could have a higher level. And then he's like, you know, I think we should probably get shelving. So then we went to Costco and we got shelving and it has just grown and grown and grown. And I'm like, can we not have more things? in our tent that's totally stocked like a store. So typically a, a lot of tents will have white tables like this and they'll put everything like in a container at night and then get it back out again in the morning. It takes us like three days to stock this. So there's no way we could do that. So we just pay security overnight to stay awake and watch it. But um, it's definitely grown from where we were the first couple years. Okay, come and take a look at what we have. We have a whole variety of parachutes for the kids that love to see the parachutes that shoot up and explode in the air and then they can go chase them. Our kids used to love to do that. Um, snaps, just at a whole like candy section basically, you know, so that uh, kids candy, but you don't eat it obviously. The poppers, we've got, you know, pooping dogs and gassy gorillas. And this is one of my favorite things. It's a walling wheel and it actually, you nail it to a tree or a board and it sparks around and around and it whistles and there's color. It's really awesome. Um, just lots of different, uh, we've got Rome. These are like big, huge Roman candles. Uh, those are a lot of fun. They shoot out a whole number of shots. This one is 196 shots for $16. That's a really good value. We have our, 500 gram section. Steve, you want to point out one of your, a couple of your favorites in this area? Well, sure. We got a couple of really, really pretty ones. The sen uh, sensory overload, beautiful neon colors. Um, Acid rain does a lot of different things. Uh, the two minute uh, fireworks show actually goes for two minutes. So if you're looking for a little extension in your, in your show, uh, liquid sunshine, beautiful willows that droop way down. I love Fantastic. OBM because it's 16 really loud, really big shots in the sky. That one's awesome. And so. we've been doing this long enough where we've kind of eliminated things we don't like. And everybody's got different opinions on what's good and what's not. But we try real hard to have a nice variety, but good quality product that really produces what, what you ask for. I think that's why we have such a good return customer base too, as so many people come back to us because they like what they got from the year previous. So um, hit the road, Jack and highfalutin are our two best sellers by far on this whole wall of smaller 500 gram cakes. A um, lot of variety, longer lasting. This one has volleys of seven shots at a time and it's just incredible. We have this, uh, sorry, way over here, this house party 42 shot. 
The color in this is just fantastic. To get a 40, 42 shot for $24 that has the kind of um, shots that go back and forth with the brilliant color, that is just fantastic. We have some really big cakes. Um, these are a variety of 12 shots and nine shots that go up and actually shoot like a big downtown firework. Just really go up there like 300 feet and break really huge in the sky. They're really nice. I mean, again, if you wanted to add a variety, get some big shots and then some smaller shots, it makes your display just really cool. Uh, you get a lot of people that uh, they're surprised what's coming next when you got friends and family that are watching with you. So uh, if you want to do something a little different, we've got rockets and uh, a number, nice variety of rockets to choose from. They've got a different sound when they go up, and uh, so it's nice to vary your show a little bit with that. Um, these over here are zipper cakes. We call them zipper, they go back and forth real fast. The, the length of the show on each one of these is a little bit shorter, but you get a lot of shots. You might have two, 300 shots uh, in each cake, and uh, a lot of smaller shots in there, but it fills the sky. So a lot of people use them kind of as a finale cake to go with a couple big things and have the zipper cake go back and forth and fill up the sky below it. A lot of different choices in our mortar packs. Um, right now, we're running a special on these two for $10 off. These have a really cool ring it breaks into. You can kind of see that on the, on the side there. Um, that's a, just a really unique thing. Um, most of our um, canisters are uh, 60 grams. They go up like 250 feet in the air, 200 to 250 feet in the air. Um, we have four inch, five inch, six inch, and even seven inch. The seven inchers are the ones that are going to um, break the loudest in the sky and really fill the sky with the broadest break. And then we've got, for every, again, every price point, if you can't afford the bigger 60 gram ones, we've got small little balls, other smaller ones, we've got 40 gram uh, canister sets. So a wide variety, you know, starts at about $8 and goes up from there. What I like is you can even get like six of what is in here. It's exactly what's in the bigger box, but if you don't want to get 24 of them, you can just get six and it's um, the same price point. So it's not like more expensive to just get six. So that's a, a nice thing that we have. We have a whole um, large fountain area for our larger fountains. Kids just love the the fountains that perform from the ground. They don't they don't shoot shots up into the sky, but sparks and colors. The lava lamp is by far our most popular. It's just super brilliant. It looks like jelly bean jelly beans, really brightly colored jelly beans that are just coming out of it. It's so fun. These are some of our other fountains, and then we've got like little fountain packs that you can buy that they don't last as long. The cuckoos, the killer bees, you know those those have you know, been around for years. So more like double helicopters that zip up into the air with double bangs. The ladybugs are a really good seller. People love those. Um, they go up and explode with color in the sky. Sometimes you don't know where they're gonna go and that's half the fun of it. And then a whole big smoke area and then our smaller 200 gram cakes. Lots and lots of choices in our 200 gram cakes. Um, one of my absolute favorites is the Bling Bling. It's got an awesome finale, really cool. Mobile Menace is another one of my favorites. You'll notice we've got these little, um, one of Kathy's favorites. We try to put those around so that when we're really busy, come like the third or the fourth, people um, if they, if we can't help them because we're helping so many other people, they can actually just look at those stickers and kind of see if they know it's a Kathy's favorite, they know they're gonna be really happy with it. So Saturn missile batteries, we've got those in teeny, medium and larger ones. Those are a lot of fun. They go shoo, 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 one right after another. And then uh, we even have something like, it's a happy lamp, which you, tie a string to like a tree branch or something like that and it's flat and then when you light it it goes around and around and around and it opens into like a Chinese lantern. So just a fun thing for kids. It's the same kind of concept. This is a little friendship pagoda. It's flat and it's it, it's when you light it it goes around and around and then it opens up into like a Chinese house. So just fun things for the kids. We try to make everybody happy. We definitely have the big ones for the big shows, but we've got a lot of variety for, you know, the kiddos. What was your biggest sale from one customer? We had a customer that bought $4,000 worth of fireworks in one, at one time. And were they buying like the big ones or a little bit of everything? A, a little, mostly the big ones, but a little bit of everything. Are there any deals that you guys run? Yeah, actually, um, if people, neighborhoods come together and pull their money, if you spend $500, we give you $100 free. 
and if you spend a thousand dollars we give you 250 dollars free and that's not stuff that we pick out that we want to give you it's you get to pick out what you would like for that amount of money so do you guys do any advertising what does that look like we do a little bit of facebook advertising not a ton but we do some a lot of it's word of mouth we really emphasize the customer service and uh, that's really developed a lot for us being a small business and uh you know just trying to be careful with our money it, it's it, in not being an expert in necessarily different advertising rev, you know areas it's hard to kind of jump in and throw five hundred thousand dollars you know onto something and you have no idea and it's such a short season if we screw up a little bit it, it's not going to pay off and, and you know it's, it's going to be done before well, the season's going to be done before the advertiser really kicks in so really it's people coming in and like seeing how low our prices are and they're like oh my gosh this is so much more at this place or it's so much more at this place so they come in and then they're like we're going to tell our friends and we've got business cards that we made up and we hand out some business cards and say please pass the business cards on and, and send your people in and that's really when people come in and they like look at things and they're like oh my gosh this is this much at this place and you've got it for this i think that's itself but we actually need to get the people to come in to do that but I mean I substitute teach in Jenison and I've got kids when I'm at the junior high or high school they're like hey crazy Kathy you know they see me and that's a lot of fun you know because they know me from teaching being Mrs. Gershel but then also you know crazy Kathy so we definitely know that word of mouth this community a lot of loyal customer base comes here. Can you talk about how crazy Kathy the name <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of a funny story. We were boring Jenison fireworks tent on our sign outside. And my brother-in-law, he owns a, what's it called? The a machine, plotter. a plotter machine. And Bio so plotter. he came in at like midnight and talked to our security guy. And he's like, I'm going to change their sign. And we have so- a little A-frame opening sign we put out front. Yeah. It so, had a blank spot on it. So he came in and um, put Crazy Kathy's on it. I didn't have any clue. And my son in the morning went and put the sign out and he came back in and he's like, mom, the sign says Crazy Kathy's. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I thought he was pulling my leg. And so I went out and looked at it and I'm like, oh my gosh. And so customers came in all day that day and they're like, I love your name. This is awesome. And so we went with it. It was just really good. So we went from boring to crazy just like that. <laughs> and earlier you were talking about how you had a lower prices. Like how do, how do you do that? We just try to have a, a, a tight margin. You know, we're not trying to rip anybody off. I'm not saying that anybody else is, but the way we scaled our business was just trying to make some good money but not try to be over, you know, overdoing it on anybody. And we know we live in Dutch community. I mean, really, you know, we, we are pretty frugal with our money. And so we, we understand the value in um, keeping prices lower. You also talked earlier about your season. What is your season that you're selling? We're open for about a month. So like around June 10th, depending on the year, how the weekend falls all the way through July 5th. So you guys don't do anything for like Memorial Day then? It would take too long to set up. It, it just wouldn't, and it, it's not as big of a season. You know, not as many people shoot off fireworks. I'm guessing you don't set up because it would be expensive. Is there expenses that come with setting up here? Oh yeah, I mean, we have night security. We've got somebody here every night watching to make sure there's nobody coming to rip us off. So we've got to pay for that. And just the labor and effort to set up. Uh, Kathy had mentioned it takes us about three days to set this all up. So for the weekend, Memorial Day weekend, for example, to try to set up. It'd take us three or four days and it would be the weekend and then it would be done. We have to tear it down, you know, or, or sit keep here for, it up and sit then... for a few more weeks until the 4th of July season started. And that just doesn't make a whole lot of economic sense and a lot of wear and tear on our body because it's not easy. What's one of the best things about running this business? What's one of the worst things? So <laughs> my favorite thing about running this business is the interaction with all the people that come in. We have people that are so excited to see us. They show us the videos of their shows from last year. They're so excited to, they, it feels like I've made friends, really. The people that come in just make what I do so fun because they get excited when I talk about like, this insanity is 25 shots and it does this and this and they're like, oh, they're way into it. And they get excited because I'm excited. So it just, and you know, seeing the kids' faces light up as families come in and they're like, dad, look at this. And that is just so much fun for me. Um, I would say the, the downside is just like, especially like the second, third and fourth, how exhausting it is. Just physically exhausting to, be here that many hours and be as as busy as what we are but 
I mean, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So. Do people tend to come shop closer to the Oh yeah. Fourth? Oh yeah. Yes. It's the the closer to the fourth it gets, the busier it gets. We're basically we sit in the parking lot. I mean, we have customers every day. But for the first couple of weeks, we're kind of here as advertising. So when they drive by to work and back home, they see us, you know, 10 or 15 times. They're like, oh yeah, when the 4th of July comes, that's where we're going to buy our fireworks. So as we get into July, that's when we sell the vast majority of our product. How late are you guys open on the 4th? Until people stop coming. Okay. Usually like 1130. You guys don't get to enjoy your own show? We, we can't. No, it's our busiest day. July 4th is the busiest yeah. day. A couple of our suppliers have a like pre-show to show us product like in April or beginning of May. And we'll go to that and take our kids with us. And that's kind of like our family's fireworks show. So plus it's really nice because we get to sit and watch the new product and decide like, oh, that's totally worth it. We want that in our tent or you know what? We didn't like that one so much. So, you know. And we did shoot off a bunch of stuff on Memorial Day. Yeah. Um, again, yeah. just sampling things, making sure we like what we're looking to buy, that kind of thing. What do you think is the most sold firework that you have? Hit the road jack. Hit the road jack or highfalutin. Yeah, or the Jesse James, which is right down here. This is probably our best seller in our 200 grams. And then that hit the road jack in the back corner is our best seller in 500 grams. But for sure. What is the most expensive firework you have here? This is gonna be the one, the eruption down in the... Yeah, this eruption is amazing. It's 500 shots and you can just see it's huge. Wow. It, it, it puts on just an incredible show. It, it's, it's $350, so in, in one firework, but it's awesome. How long of a show does that put on? Oh, it, it's relatively short. Yeah. Probably 45 seconds. I, yeah, it, you would think zipper, it would go like cake, four so. or five minutes or something, but it's not. I mean, it, but it's an incredible 45 seconds. Can you talk about like how you get the fireworks? Well, we'll order them from our supplier and then they'll deliver them or we'll have them go picked up. And then it's kind of the process, you know, we will order throughout the year if we feel like there's something that's not going to be available later on. I mean, there's already things that didn't come in this year that really wanted. You know, we ordered them way early and it just didn't show. You, you really never know sometimes if, if something's going to be uh, being manufactured over in China because that's where it's all made and if it's going to get here on time. And then uh, what do you guys do with like the leftovers? Do you have storage? We have a place to store them. Yeah, yeah. Keep it dry and uh, it, it'll be fine for the next year. And we have such a turnover that we really don't have a lot of we don't have things carried over for years. What's left this year will uh, be the first stuff out next year and it'll go relatively quickly. Is there like an expiration on them at all? And there's not. I mean, there, there may technically be, but no. As long as you keep them dry, you're good. Good for years. And you talked about going to like a supplier show and stuff. So is there a supplier here in the US? Yeah, there's there's different manufacturers that, you know, they have their stuff made in China, but then they've got distribution here in the U.S. Do you guys have any employees? So uh, around the 4th, we hire our children and then a couple of their friends to help us. And we used to be able to get away with, you know, pretty low pay. And as they've gotten older, our youngest is now 19. And so we are pretty much paying them pretty good money to work for us on those days. They ask it off from their full-time jobs and they work really hard for us. So it's, it's awesome to be able to um, use them and have them work with us. It really is truly a family business. They help us with setup, they help us with teardown. They get paid really well for it, but um, that's one of the perks of it being just our family business. But they do, like, there's a couple girls um, that are friends with our daughter that work for us um, around that time as well. It just, it, it's nice to be able to just like, keep it in the in the family you know what are your plans on like growing or expanding we're not going to go more than one tent it's just uh, there's too much effort in in the way we do this so this is this is our location plan is staying here for years plan is just having the one tent and we just try to get the best product in here we can you know and have the best prices we can and just continue to grow it that way hopefully you know customers tell customers do you guys mind sharing how much you invested into this um, to get it started to get it started I, we bought the tent you know bought all the shelving the racks all that kind of stuff we bought the, all the product that first yeah, I mean, year you, you buy all the product every year you know you, you've got to invest quite a bit into the money into the product dollar figure wise dollar I don't figure. yeah I, I can't tell you what what it is I mean it varies year to year how much we buy but you know yeah just bought the racks bought the the tent so we don't run it that that's the us. cash register yeah but it would be hard to 
like because we first started out with tables, you know, white tables weren't that expensive, you know, but as we moved into getting the shelving and that was more of an investment. Every year we try to like improve and buy something else. We made that little sign outside that you can put your, your faces in with, that's our first year for that. Just kind of a draw, fun things for the kids to do. So yeah, so it, it's hard to put a dollar figure on it because I don't even remember. We didn't have near as many fireworks when we first started as we do now. Um, so it's kind of grown, the investment has grown from here to year as well but once we paid for the tent and we paid for the tables and the shelving and all of that you know then it, it gets paid for and then you don't have that expense the next year so is there any way to sell fireworks online not there we might be we, that's not something we're going to go with i mean i'm sure shipping wise would be a problem you know that would be the biggest there's issue. all kinds of rules so. with fireworks so yeah. Yeah. I see you have QR codes by a lot of your fireworks. Is that showing what they do? Exactly. The QR codes are for demonstration. We used to try to look them up on YouTube. It makes it a lot easier. They just scan the QR code and it pulls it up for them. A lot of people like to know what they're getting, doing some research. They will have customers being here for an hour or two hours sometimes just watching videos, make a list. They go home, decide what they want, and they come back and buy. Do you know how much fireworks you have? Inventory. How many different varieties? I don't, we try to have a huge variety. So we've got over 100, 200 gram cakes just to give everybody an option of, of something, you know, different price points and, and different effects. But I couldn't tell you exactly how many without actually going through my inventory list at home, you know, to, to know. I bet we sold last year, what, at least 70 hit the road jacks, just that one cake? 120. 120. So, I mean, if you think about just that one cake, we sold 120 of just that one. I mean, and then there's, that's our best seller, but there's numerous, we have so much selection. So it, there's in thousands and thousands. Earlier you showed us the most expensive. What's your cheapest product? 29 cents, you got something? Yeah, oh. pulling trigger is 25 cents. Oh, oh there you go. Right. What are those? It's a string, you pull a string and it pops. There's a dozen of them in the box. You take it and you put it around your fingers and then you pull, I'm not gonna do it in the tent right now, but, and then it goes snap. You get 10 in a box per quarter. We try to have something for everyone. We have people, sorry, 12 in a box. People um, come in and they're like, we want the best that we can get for $25. And that's what we do. You know, we don't try to, if somebody's got a budget and that's what they're sticking to, I don't try to upsell them to $35. I try to get what they want for $25 so that they are happy with what they can. And, you know, it's hard when they say, can you give us the best for $5? Because it's fireworks, you know, there's cost involved, but I will still work my best to try to give people the best that I can for $5. You know what I mean? Do you have to have any like permits or insurance or anything? Yeah, we, we've got to get a permit from Georgetown Township, temporary permit to set up. The state requires a license and we have to get inspected by fire marshal for, uh, for that. And that's not cheap. And then insurance. We gotta have lots of insurance. Yeah, insurance to cover. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot anything. of liability insurance coverage uh, that we have to have. Yeah, is that your biggest expense, insurance? Yeah, I mean, that's that's. I mean, aside from the product, yeah, that's a very big expense. I mean, I guess our security costs more throughout the season yeah. than the insurance, you know, does in the license. But those are not cheap expenses. Yeah, there's a lot more expenses than people might think that there are with with doing what we're doing, but it still is is fruitful for us. So. When are most of your customers coming in? More in the evenings and weekends, early on, you know, and then as we get closer to the season, it's, it just yeah. ramps up. I mean, you can just see it. June 28th to July 2nd is a total difference. Everybody's starting to think about fireworks. And I honestly think people don't plan 4th of July get togethers until July 3rd, because I, we hear that all the time. You know, I didn't realize it was July 4 tomorrow. Well, it's yeah. on the same day. I think I people wait for weather. They, if, if it's gonna be real rainy, they don't, they're not gonna do the party. So why buy the fireworks, you know what I mean? But I think we're probably busiest from about 3 p.m. to 6.30ish before the season really ramps up. So our hours, so we're open at 10 in the morning, uh, seven days a week, and we're, we close around 9, 30, 10 o'clock every night. Right around the third and the fourth, we'll be open later. Uh, Tell if, people if stop coming. If you need something, we'll be here for you. If 4th of July is not on a weekend, do you find that you sell more fireworks that year because people are buying for weekend parties and then the fourth itself? Not necessarily. I mean, it, this is the first year it's gonna be on a Tuesday in, in quite some time. And so we will sell more on the weekends than we normally would, but I think our 4th of July is gonna be slower because a lot of people are gonna go back to work on, yeah. on the next day. So I think it's gonna spread it out a little more this year rather than if it was on a weekend, 
everybody's doing it on the weekend. We'll be busier Friday, Saturday, even Sunday than we will be probably July 3rd and 4th this year, which is not how it usually is. Do you guys have three tips of advice for any other <laughs> entrepreneur out there? Be passionate. Yeah. If you have something that you can get behind and feel strongly about, be passionate about it. People recognize and get into that with you when they see that you're passionate about something that that's one thing that i would say work hard i mean just put put your all in it so that uh, if you're doing something just do it as, as best of your ability and uh, you're better off it, it, it'll pay off and always always be kind sometimes people come in and they're not really happy they can be grumpy you have to choose to treat them well and be kind no matter what i don't think that has to do with not just business, but in general in life. If you show that you are kind and caring about people, you know, that goes a long way. And where can they find you? Where you can find us on uh, Facebook, Crazy Kathy's Fireworks. Otherwise, we're right on the corner of Chicago Drive and Port Sheldon. It's 2050 Chicago Drive, Jenison. Come see us.